Hi welcome to Candle Chart Patterns class. Today I am going to teach you about different types of candlestick chart patterns and how it's work on the trading. Hope this class will help you all, ok let's start. First I am going to tell you about Shadow and Tail The shadow is the portion of the trading range outside of the body. We often refer to a candlestick as having a tall shadow or a long tail. A tall shadow indicates resistance. A long tail signals support. Now let's go for candlestick patterns. Long lines. The long white line is a sign that buyers are firmly in control of bullish candlestick. A long black line shows that sellers are in control. Definitely bearish, Marabazu candlesticks. Marabazu are even stronger bull or bear signals than long lines as they show that. Buyers, sellers have remained in control from the open to the close. There are no intraday retracements, doji candlesticks. The doji candlestick occurs when the open and closing price are equal. An open and close in the middle of the candlestick signal indecision. Long legged digits. When they occur after small candlesticks, indicate a surge in volatility and warn of a potential trend change. Four price digits, where the high and low are equal, are normally only seen on thinly traded stocks. The dragonfly. The dragonfly occurs when the open and close are near the top of the candlestick and signals reversal after a downtrend. Control has shifted from sellers to buyers, hammer and gravestone. The hammer is not as strong as the dragonfly candlestick but also signals reversal after a downtrend. Control has shifted from sellers to buyers. The shadow of the candlestick should be at least twice the height of the body. A gravestone is identified by open and close near the bottom of the trading range. The candlestick is the converse of a hammer and signals reversal when it occurs after an uptrend. Thank you for watching my class next will come soon so do visit Nicholas Nella channel. If you have any doubt about this you may mention on comment box.